Is your website old and stinky? Isn't it about time you freshen it up a little bit? As your site grows by adding new content, many of those old pages that you published years ago still remain. And chances are that many of those pages are old and stinky. And by keeping these pages on our website, it can cause us problems to rank lower in the search engines and it may keep your prospective customers from ever coming back. Google's algorithm is no longer page specific. This means that Google crawls much deeper into your website and it ranks it based upon the context and the freshness of the content. If Google determines that your site has irrelevant, stinky old content, you may end up on page 100 of Google's index. However, if Google determines that the content on your site is fresh and relevant, you'll get a boost and perhaps even take over that coveted first place position. But more important than Google are your customers. Think about the last time you searched for an answer to a particular problem or concern and you ended up on some page that was dated that didn't solve your problem. Didn't you feel frustrated? Hi, I'm Roy Ryer from the Search Engine Academy and SEO Training SW.com with a few SEO tips on how you can keep your content fresh for the search engines and your customers to ensure that they'll be coming back for more. Evaluate your current assets. This is a content inventory on one of my personal websites, RadarDetector.org. I admit, it was a bit time consuming for our staff to compile the 200 some pages of this website, but it provides me with a complete snapshot of my site. By including information from Google Analytics, I can see what pages are working and what pages need some help. I can keep track of SEO concerns, identifying pages with incomplete or incorrect metadata. And as we update this document, my staff and I will have a much easier time keeping all the pages of our website up to date and it will save us a ton of time. Here are a few suggestions on how you can develop your own site audit. First, we use the Google Document Spreadsheet. This allows my staff and I to log in anytime and any place, and the data is updated in real time. Next, format your spreadsheet by first listing the URL of the page, the type of page it is, the title of the page, and perhaps even adding a column to include the meta description of the page. When you compile all this information, your next step will be compiling a report in your Google Analytics, which will list each page of your website. Then create the applicable columns in your spreadsheet and plug in the data such as page views, average time on page, your bounce rate, and if this page generated any income for you. It's also a good idea to include a brief summary of what each page is all about, the date when the page was first created, a date when it should be revisited, the number of backlinks to the page, and who is responsible for updating the content of the page. As you piece your site audit all together, some questions that you'll want to ask yourself are, is the content on this page relevant, timely, and useful to my customers? Does it meet the goals of my organization or company? Does it add value? If you've answered yes to all these questions, put a check mark on your spreadsheet next to that page. If you answer no to any of these questions, then you may want to consider updating those pages or perhaps even killing it off. As a caution, if you do decide to kill it, do a 301 redirect and redirect that page to another page on your website. By doing this, you'll also redirect any links that you may have going to that page to the new page. Also, if by chance a customer has that page bookmarked, you'll be redirecting them to the new page with the fresher content. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have, please consider sharing it with your friends and family by pressing the like button on this page and adding a comment or two. And if you'd like to check out some of our other free SEO tips, come and visit us on our website, seotrainingsw.com. This is Roy Ryer from seotrainingsw.com and the Search Engine Academy. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.